American Organizers Alliance, Zetsi led the National History Museum, and Illuminative. And I, I want to honor and uh, thank the House of Tears Lummy Carvers for their vision and this beautiful totem pole that's before us here today. Uh, and and the, the many blessings and prayers and the messages from across Indian country about the importance of sacred places, lands, and waters. And thank you to Master Carver Jewel James. Uh, we send our best wishes to him for a speedy recovery and good health. And I want to thank uh, his brother Doug James and his wife, Sialmoe, uh, for their beautiful, beautiful work and for making this journey to bring their magnis magnificent totem pole across the country. Uh, President Biden remains strongly committed to strengthening the nation-to-nation -nation relationship and advancing tribal sovereignty. In March, President Biden signed the American Rescue Plan that delivered $31.2 billion to tribal communities, the largest single payment ever to Indian country. Those critical investments have supported COVID response in tribal communities, the largest child tax credit for families, native language revitalization, direct financial support, and much more. And the new bipartisan infrastructure bill introduced in Congress yesterday will invest critically needed resources in Indian country for roads, bridges, and make the largest investment in clean drinking water and wastewater infrastructure in American history. President Biden is committed, as you are, to achieving ambitious environmental justice goals. Just last week, the Biden-Harris administration issued Justice 40, a whole-of-government effort to ensure that federal agencies work with tribes, states, local communities to deliver at least 40% of the overall benefits from the federal investments in climate and clean energy to historically underrepresented communities, including tribal nations. And the America the Beautiful initiative outlines a core set of principles that will restore 30% of our lands and waters by 2030. <laughs> Tribal nations will be key partners in these conservation efforts that will create jobs and support healthy communities. America's lands, waters, and resources are precious. And as America's first people, indigenous communities know this best. Ensuring that they're here for generations to come is one of our most important duties. So on behalf of the White House, we thank the Lummi Carvers, the Red Road to DC organizers, and all the supporters for bringing this beautiful, incredible totem pole and powerful message about the importance of protecting sacred sites to our nation's capital. Kunta Woha. <laughs>